Another day, another group of Japanese destroyers approaching Java and harassing our forces. The decision has been made to put a stop to these incursions to halt any future Japanese landings on the island. The first line of defense, to no one's surprise, is O-19. She has sighted another task force heading towards Batavia and has maneuvered into position. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. Once again, we are starting this episode with O-19. She is closing in on this large Japanese task force of destroyers, which is heading towards Batavia. There are eight destroyers in this formation, and it's gotten to the point where I'm going to start whittling away at these guys, despite the fact that they do not give us any command points. Let's reduce our speed down to three knot actually let's yeah three knots should be sufficient up periscope and we are going to target number one in line fire a couple of torpedoes and i also want to try to start hitting them with air power our solution is pretty abysmal 30 percent and climbing let's keep turning to starboard here and take a look at our destroyer friend it's been identified as a kagaro and the problem with attacking this task force with air power is just the sheer amount of triple a going up our our way i think a lot of these destroyers have dual purpose guns all right rudder amidships here solutions 94 percent now do i fire one torpedo or fire two how many fish do i have i think i'm just going to fire one here yeah, let's just send one torpedo her way. Hopefully we'll get the drop on them and she will not detect it. Zero degree spread, obviously. And we are going to wait until our gyro angle reaches zero degrees. I could fire a spread, but I have decided against that. Okay, nine. Closing in. Gosh, this is just so many destroyers. You know what? Let's fire two fish. Let's send this one straight to the bottom. Closing in. Looking good. And once we fire our fish, we are going to turn tail and run for sure. That's a lot of ASW power on the other end of our periscope. All right, tubes one and two, fire. One away, two away. Okay, down periscope, drop down to 60 meters. Increase speed to four knots and left four rudder. Get the heck out of here. All right, two torpedoes running hot straight and normal towards the target. Our two fish are closing in on the target. I can see their wakes out here in the distance. I didn't give them much of, I didn't even give them a spread at all. So they're going to really just rip a massive hole. She isn't making evasive maneuvers yet. There they go. One, no. Oh my gosh, they went right under the target. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that to be the case. Well, uh, good thing the Japanese <laughs> have not spotted the, the wakes that went right under their ship. We should be able to leave the engagement area. Oh my gosh, that is so unfortunate. And that makes our job a little more complicated. Um, I do need to start taking these destroyers out because they are taking supply to Batavia and I really don't want them to land on another port. So, all right, it looks like a task force is going to have to do the job. O-19 tried. Let's get out of here. Well, 
Well, after that little debacle with 019, here is the current situation on the campaign map. Things are looking good. Task Force 24 down here is heading down to Australia because we should be getting more command points soon. And I kind of want this task force to group up with more ships that we will have coming to the theater. We should get USS Houston here as well. So we'll finally have a heavy hitter in the theater. Task Force Basilisk is kind of patrolling back and forth just along the coast of Java. And in other news, I did scramble some hurricanes with 500 pounds semi-armor piercing bombs. They are going to hit this group of destroyers. Convoy AS-1 is moving up and I've decided I'm going to take them directly to Batavia. They are going to have to transit the Sunda Strait, but that should be fine. We only have 10 fuel here, so I'd rather get more fuel here. And uh, this task force obviously is carrying fuel with USS Ohio here. All right, let's go with our hurricanes and go to tactical and start. Oh my gosh, they spawned right over the freaking task force. Okay, break, 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 break. Oh no. Okay, this hurricane needs to break as well. Get the heck out of here. Get out of here. Oh, one's already taken. They're already getting damaged. Increase your speed. And we lost one. Of course. The game is just screwing me today with the RNG. Okay. Book it. All right. Hey, one hurricane lost. Oh, uh, well, all of you can form up now. Form up in a diamond formation, please. 50 meters apart. And drop down to the deck. Come left, and we are going to hit the trailing destroyer here at an angle. Hopefully we can get in and out real quick. Dropping down to 20 meters using our good old semi-armor piercing bombs. Hopefully those are capable of really hitting this one hard. I mean, these are 500 pound bombs. They should tear up a destroyer. And I'm going to attack individually on this one. What's our current altitude? 98, 94, deck, deck, deck. Get down to the deck. There we go. All right, triple A is coming. Max speed, attack, attack, attack. Individual. I'm gonna control this one and try to drop them myself. Bob and weave, bombs away. Wow, okay, completely whiffed there. Bombs whiffed, get out, get out, get out. All right, not a single hit that time. Okay, climb up. All right. Failed bombing run, one hurricane downed. Man, I think a surface action is going to be the case. The problem is this many modern Japanese destroyers is, it's fairly intimidating, or I'm gonna be honest. Also with how tanky warships have proven to be, uh, I am moderately concerned about engaging these guys on the surface. I mean, that's a lot of guns turned our way. Oh, 19's over here, that's funny. Okay, this hurricane turned around. I'll direct them out. Okay, well, we may try again. We may try to level bomb. That may be our best bet here. Well, here we go. It is March 8th, 1942, and we got our command points. We got a total of 62 command points, and this is the task force I have constructed. We have USS Houston, Marblehead, Vampire, Electra, which are two destroyers, and Enterprise, which is a light cruiser here. Houston obviously is a heavy cruiser, so I'm glad to get her back in the theater. Unfortunately, um, let's see, HMS Exeter is still being repaired. She has two days to go, so we will not be getting her yet. Regardless, this is good. Let's recruit them. And I am also going to load as much cargo as possible. 
We'll put supply on Marblehead. There we go. As much supply as possible. And then Enterprise, you go ahead and I guess just take some troops. There we go. We are going to rendezvous with this task force out here. And hopefully we can find that Japanese task force that's been harassing our merchant fleet and put an end to them out here in the Indian Ocean. Regardless, I think this will be a very good task force composition. We'll have five light cruisers, one heavy cruiser, and two destroyers. Alrighty folks, just a brief situation update. My task forces have grouped up out here in the Indian Ocean and they have been named Task Force Python. They are searching for that Japanese task force out here. However, I am going to have them meander up towards Java. Hopefully the scouts will be able to find that Japanese task force and we can intercept. But if not, I do want them up here near Java really so they can deal with some of these Japanese task forces. If it comes down to it, I can move Task Force Basilisk down into the Indian Ocean to counter this other Japanese task force. That's the current plan of action though, so far. We have not seen that Japanese task force in a while, so it is possible they have decided to head back home or operate somewhere else. We'll see, time will tell. Task Force Basilisk operating off of Surabaya has encountered some enemy aircraft. Thankfully, we were able to scramble some CW-21s in time to help deal with the threat. I'm gonna just have these guys orbit over the task force and we will see when we spot the enemy. The weather is absolutely atrocious, as you can see. The storm visibility is at 43 or 41%, excuse me. And the sea state is three. Let's just have these guys circle right over the task force. There we go. There's the enemy. They are automatically engaging. Triple A is going up. And double A. Looks like they're peeling off. Come on. Hopefully we don't lose too many friends here. Oh my. There we go. Tore into them. Good job. Already shot down an enemy aircraft. More enemy aircraft have been sighted. However, our CW-21s seem to be making quick work of the enemy. Vendetta was hit by a bomb. It looks like they level bombed and managed to get a hit. Damage is very minor though. Very minor. Any more formations coming in? The dogfight is still going absolutely bonkers out there. Looks like we do outnumber the enemy. A lot of the aircraft, we're losing contact on a lot of them. Shot down another one. All right, let's keep engaging them. There's another one getting out that way. I'm gonna shoot down as many of these as possible. I'm not sure where they are coming from exactly. Probably from Borneo. But there we go. We shot down a couple. And it looks like our CW-21s are taking care of like this little guy. This one didn't even get to drop his bombs. Good. Oh, here we go. Oof, that was close. Okay, shot down a few, one left. We'll wait till they shoot that one down and leave the combat area. Well, that combat was interesting. It looks like we did not lose a single aircraft and the Japanese managed to lose five. So overall, that was a success. Still have not picked up the Japanese task force down here in the Indian Ocean, unfortunately, but that is all right. We've found them. A scout plane from Task Force Python has found the Japanese task force in the Indian Ocean and we are going to move to intercept. Let's try to get a closer look and take a look at what's going on here okay we have engaged these guys in the past apparently and this destroyer looks rough and we have this japanese heavy cruiser takao class light cruiser the takao is the biggest threat okay let's leave combat i am curious if we are in range of australian air power 
If that is the case, we are going to bomb them for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if Hudson's can make it this far or if I can bait them back towards Australia. If not, we will be having a decisive air or sea engagement out here. I do think we can take this task force. The Takao is the primary threat, of course, and she has minor damage. Okay, let's see. Here is their position. They are 183 kilometers away. Oh, I think they are in range. Okay, new air. First off, I want you to hang out over here. Darwin, new air. Hudson's. Let's go. Okay. What's your range with 250 endurance is the same? Okay. We'll do 500 pounds semi-armor piercing bombs. Head that way. Go get them. I also have lots of aircraft coming over here, which I need to check out and see what's going on. Task Force Python, you are going to head west. Additionally, I do think I have more aircraft I can launch and we can start searching this area pretty thoroughly. Make sure we do not lose contact of that task force. So I'm going to launch more float planes and scout to the west of Task Force Python. Okay, Task Force Basilisk has quite the situation on their hands. First off, there's an enemy submarine, which just launched a spread of torpedoes. Secondly, there are aircraft heading towards us. Got a bunch of Bettys. Our CW-21s are jumping them, though. Okay, first things first, scout break contact. Break out of formation, increase speed, turn on sonar. Encounter, you do the same. Sonar, 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 Perth. You are getting out of here. Jupiter, break contact, increase speed, turn on sonar, find that sub. And we need to tear those Bettys to pieces. Engage this formation of Bettys, please. Please and thank you. There they are. Slow and lumbering. Okay, they've dropped their bombs. Right full rudder. Get out of here. Ooh, boy. That was close. It is a turkey shoot, though. Perth, increase speed, run. Okay, our CW21s are making quick work of the Bettys. They have paid for that. Going for this other formation here. All right, scout, left full rudder, maneuver around Perth. Encounter, encounter, encounter. Oh boy. Avoid that torpedo. There we go, good stuff. Okay, slow down, find the sub. Depth charges, get them ready. Okay, let's do some management here. Perth is moving away, Vendetta. You can come in, but slowly, nice and slow like. Jupiter, slow down. Scout, slow down. The air threat is been eliminated, absolutely destroyed. And now it's time to find that sub, and it is going to pay for launching a spread of four torpedoes. I see a periscope? No. Encounter. Right full rudder. Reduce speed even more. We'll see if we can pick her up. We'll give it a few minutes. Encounter has detected the submarine. Let's target it and head straight for it. It's at a depth of 56 meters. Let's increase speed to 10 knots. Scout, turn towards her and Jupiter as well. Turn towards the target. Okay, it has been identified. <laughs> it's using a Type 7A model. That's kind of fun. A little placeholder, obviously. Regardless, we're going to close in and sink it. Okay, depth charges. We are launching this launch. How many do we have? 48 out of 48. Yeah, we're going to go a little, a little crazy. They're going to pay for that. Well, it seems weather conditions have helped the submarine escape. We lost sonar contact and we have not seen her since. Let me check. Yeah, I haven't seen her, and everyone's going pretty slow. Scout is at eight knots, just trying to find her. Well, we are going to retreat and leave combat. 
I'm not going to stick around and hunt this guy. I'm sure it'll reappear and we'll be able to blow it out of the water. Okay, here's the current situation. The Japanese task force is nice and close. They are 60 kilometers away from task force Python. Our Hudsons will be there in one and a half hours. And I'm, I'm heading east now, <laughs> trying to run away so I can kite them towards the Hudsons. I do want the Hudsons to hit that to cow with all they've got. So that's the current plan of action. We'll see if it works out for us. They are, we're taking them and oh my gosh. Okay, that submarine is back. Okay, let's begin this. Start. Okay, everybody turn on your sonar. There it is, all right. All ahead flank, left full rudder, Jupiter brake formation, charge this guy down, 33 knots, go get him. Perth is turning, there she is, got her targeted, target Jupiter, or target that one. Scout target it, go get it. What's your depth charge situation? You have 28 out of 28, good. Okay, these torpedoes, yeah, already thrown them off of that solution. Okay, everybody. Break formation, break formation. First things first, Perth. You are just going to leave the area. Encounter, you're fine. Jupiter and Scout are going to take care of this, this threat. All right, go get them. Turn on sonar. Jupiter is right over the target. We can see her down there. The water is so clear. Get ready to roll charges. We are rolling a set of five, five seconds apart. Reduce speeding. Seven knots, please. Get ready to drop. That is cool that we can see her right under there. Awaiting until the bow is, or the stern of our ship is probably over the conning tower. Increase speed. Let's speed this up a little bit. Looks like she is moving fast. Target's moving six knots. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. All right, start rolling. Roll one. I wonder if we can see the explosions down here. That would be awesome. No, it looks like we can't see the explosions. There we go, though. Beautiful. Those look like they are going to hurt. Oh, for sure. This poor sub is dead in the water now. We have Scout coming up behind her again. I think this thing's done for. It looks like she's going to settle on the bottom. Scout's coming in. Let's get it set up. Charges will roll two. Close in on her. Scout is right over the target and she is rolling her depth charges. Let's see how they look. I decided to bump it up to a pattern of three. Anyway, these look like they may hurt. Rattle her around a little bit. The, the second pattern looks devastating right here. That is essentially right over the top of her. There we go. That's got to be the end of this poor little sub. We'll see if she ends up going down. There we go. It's sinking. Beautiful. All right. Leave combat. There we go. No command points gained for that one, but at least we got the sub out of the theater. Continue on. And this is a situation we will be monitoring. This is the exciting. This is the drama right here. Game keeps taking me away from it. Here we go. Task Force Python has encountered the enemy on March 9th, 1942, 1300 hours. Our Hudsons are in the area along with multiple scouts. Let's begin. And we will do a little bit of organization here. First and foremost, I want everyone to turn on their radar and I do not want them to fire at will. And now we are going to get the Reuter, Tromp, Electra and Vampire to break formation and form up. 
Additionally, I want to kind of organize our formations a little bit here. I will break off Electra and Vampire. These are our two destroyers. However, Houston, let's start making turns for 27 knots. Let's begin. Okay, make sure Marblehead. Yep, she has her radar on as well. We have ships detected. Perfect. Okay, Deroiter. Head towards the targets. Houston. Turn to starboard shallowly. I'm going to have our Hudsons. We're going to be pretty aggressive with our Hudsons here. Drop down to the deck. And our Hudsons are going to swing back around and hit that to Cal, which is target number three. Yes, target her. These Hudsons are going to drop down to the deck as well and swing around. Perfect. Looks like the enemy formation is going evasive. What's our range to target? Begin targeting the Takao. 32 kilometers out. Yeah, we are going to hold fire for the time being. I want to try to conserve as much ammunition as possible. Don't want to go too crazy with our ammo here. But yeah, Takao is definitely our primary target. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and identify her as such. Japanese heavy cruisers. Flip, flip, flip. And I skipped right over it. There she is. Recognize her as such. Deroiter, increase your speed. 31 knots. Hopefully everyone in this line will be able to keep up with that. And you know what? Houston, go ahead and increase your speed as well. First things first, though, the bombing run. Check on our Hudsons. They're on the deck. Come around. There we go. This is actually pretty perfect. Come right. And hopefully we can really cripple the heavy cruiser right off the bat. Is she still turning? What is she doing? She's turning to port now. Okay. Head towards the target. We'll order them to attack. These Hudsons can form up into a diamond formation. All four of them, please, form up. And engage. Go get her. She's kind of separated from the rest of the task force as well, so hopefully AAA will not be too extreme as they approach. Our ships are closing in, sailing nicely. Two different battle lines here. Definitely outnumber the enemy. We should be able to make quick work of them. Hopefully we hit the Takao nice and hard and she does not cause too much damage to our forces. I'd rather limit our damage uh, on Houston and whatnot. It would be a shame if Houston had to go immediately back in for repair. I don't think that will be the case, though, however. You know what? And I will control this Hudson manually, I suppose. Why not? That other formation of Hudson's is approaching quickly. Here we go. Oh, she is firing at her ships. Her main battery's just engaged. Here we go. Moment of truth. No Hudson's have been shot down yet. Knock on wood. Get ready to drop. Okay. Well, there goes one Hudson. Okay. Bombs away. There we go. My bombs missed and my Hudson was shot down. Okay. A couple of bomb hits there. Multiple Hudson's shot down, unfortunately. All right, these Hudsons need to get the heck out of here. Level out, run away bravely, please. And let's see, Houston, what's your solution on target? Begin targeting her. Build up that solution. And train our guns onto the target. Fire armor piercing. We'll spot as well to save ammunition. How much armor piercing do we have? 900 rounds. Okay, we'll do loose solution 66% fire. There we go. Forward batteries are in arc and able to engage. Stern battery cannot just yet. And it looks like she has decided to hold fire. It's firing her secondaries though, probably at the planes. All right, let's get our float plane in the area. 
just to help spot. And we'll slowly begin engaging with Houston. I don't want to engage with any of our other ships just yet. Can barely see her out there. She is so far out. Hopefully we get some decent hits though. Houston managed to score a hit on Takao, and she is now deploying smoke out there. What's our solution? 93%. We are going to stop spotting and switch to full spreads. Re-engage. We have changed course slightly to kind of charge her down. Now, it looks like two of the Japanese ships are running away. This, the two damaged ones are getting out of here. Two destroyers. That's okay. Let them run. The heavy cruiser and the light cruiser are the ones I really want to take out. I'm going to have Deroiter begin engaging. Her solution's at 51%. We will do loose and spot. Fire armor piercing at her, please. There we go. Perfect. And do I want to begin opening up with Marblehead right now? That's our ammunition situation. 900 rounds of armor piercing. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Full spread spot target to cow we'll engage with armor piercing and fire there we go 21 kilometers away our main guns are opening up our her rear oh wow those are actually pretty darn close i'm not gonna lie we have lots of guns trained on to cow and it looks like she can only fire with two of her turrets here Houston can only fire with two of her, but we have triple turrets, so that helps. Oh my gosh, there we go. We had a hit. Perfect. Yeah, our gunnery is quite accurate. Houston, go down to narrow and fire. Our solution is at 90, like almost 100%. Yeah, might as well go down to narrow and engage. Additionally, maybe I should turn and get our other turret into arc. Yeah, we can cross the T here. I'm going to have the Reuter turn north and Houston turn north as well. I'll try to cross the T. We're at range, but we're getting hits. Plus, she is closing. I am worried. They are primary, primarily engaging the Reuter here. She's a little more vulnerable than, say, Houston. But that's okay. All right, Trump, go ahead and begin engaging. Armor piercing, engage the cow, fire. All right, let him have it. Along with you, armor piercing, don't spot, fire. And Marblehead's engaging currently. Yes, she is. Perfect. I'm wondering if I should start deploying smoke on Deroiter. I just don't want to get hit too badly. Also, it looks like Tromp is quite slow in comparison to Deroiter. I wonder if I should try to close this gap with Electra and Vampire. I'm going to break them off, actually. Break formation. And you two are going to head around at top speed. See what we can do here with them. All right, Houston. All three turrets in arc. They should be. Indeed. Perfect. Solution still 99%. Love to see it. She is starting to get quite close. Time to open up with our secondaries. We are going to fire narrow spreads with high explosive. Try to start some fires on their deck and maybe take out their guns. Oh, is she actually burning now? Yeah, she is burning. A fire has just started. Okay, Marblehead, secondaries, fire, 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 fire. AP with primaries, HE with secondaries. Good, 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 good. Tromp, how's it looking? She has torpedoes. We are not going to fire those. Make sure you're firing narrow spreads. Solution's 81%. Good. Deroiter. Oof, that was a little close for comfort. Okay, begin increasing speed. Have you been hit yet? 
No, she hasn't. She has some damage from a previous engagement. Electra and Vampire. Oh, I need them to form up. There we go. They're going to go around and try to work on the cruiser, which seems to be turning tail and running. However, Takao is still charging forward. Very bravely, I might add. There we go. Beautiful. Yep, this will be the last mistake she makes. I'm wondering if I should start deploying smoke on Reuter though. Let's see how close her rounds are landing. I want to minimize damage. She isn't too close, actually. I want to minimize damage to our own ships, frankly. Houston is moving at top speed. Our Tikal friend is starting to look extremely rough, and as a result, I am going to start switching targets. The Reuter is going to target number four and begin engaging. We do want to fire high explosive and spot fire. Let's work on that solution. Additionally, let's begin changing course and trying to cut towards the target. Target number four is the light cruiser, the Nagara. All right, let's change course. Try to cut in and engage. Additionally, doesn't look like we're gonna have Marblehead ceasefire, ceasefire. I'm gonna order all these ships to ceasefire. Sumatra hasn't even started to engage yet. Trump, go ahead and target Nagara and engage her, please. Fire high explosive narrow spot. And we'll have Houston continue to batter to cow, although it looks like, whoa, who hit me there? Is the cow still firing back? Wow, she is still shooting. Okay, damage control. I have two fires on board. Marblehead, never mind, keep firing. Fire, -er. don't spot, fire armor piercing, send that thing to the bottom. I can't believe she's still engaging. I was not expecting to get hit. I thought our guns were silent. We have that destroyer out there as well. I'll probably engage her once the Takao is taken care of. I'm amazed there's anyone alive in those turrets. There we have it. We finally got confirmation. The Takao is going down and her bow is slipping beneath the waves rather quickly. There are still shells in the air splashing all around her, but that is one Japanese heavy cruiser done for. We are now going to switch and begin engaging Nagara. It looks like she's already deploying smoke. I don't know. It may not be worth engaging her. Let's check damage control here. Working on a fire. Good, good, good. I think it may be a good idea to disengage if they're all running away. I'm not sure how close our shells are landing. We will we will see though. If she's just gonna run away and deploy smoke, we'll disengage and try to save some of our ammunition here.
Well, that Nagara is sailing away rather quickly. We are going to hold fire and conserve our ammunition. Chances are we will end up re-engaging and be able to make quick work of that light cruiser. The primary threat, though, has been taken care of. So let's go ahead and retreat from the combat area. And here we can see we lost three aircraft during that engagement. A lot of this damage on Trop and Sumatra and De Reuter was from a previous engagement. And we ended up sinking the Takao with pretty much minimal damage all around. And we gained two command points for that engagement. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.